Hey, sixth graders. Uh, sorry I'm not there today, but I had originally planned on taking this day off. So please be good for my guest teacher. Um, I did not want to waste this day. Um, we have our Winter Olympics on Friday. So at this point, I believe all of you have been assigned a country. So in a minute, what I need for you guys to do is get together with the other students in that country. So all of the students representing Mexico, why don't you guys get together at a table? Brazil, France, Germany, India, Australia, Italy, and Sweden. Now, if by chance, because there's a few students that do not have um, social studies class, what I need for you guys to do is just spread out. If there is a group that has fewer students, please join that group. And then you will be representing that country for Friday. So what you need to do today is... Um, you are going to be receiving a piece of paper that looks like this. It's actually two pieces of paper, and they're going to be separate. So you need both of these papers. So what you and your partner, group members, need to do is go on your iPad, and you are going to be researching a recipe from that country. Okay? Um, for example... Let's look up authentic food recipes from Germany. So I'm going to go here. Authentic recipe from Germany. Now there are a ton of German recipes. So this is going to take some time because you and your group members are going to have to figure out which one you would like. So, um, the good news is, is this is in uh, English, so we're not having to try to figure out what the, uh, the recipe is actually saying. So, recipes by region. Here's a bunch of different German regions. Um, recipes by type of dish. Let's go with, um, I'm just going to suggest an appetizer for this. And I come here, and I start to look at what might look good or sound good. So meat, um, I don't know how to pronounce this, alondigas, alondigas, meatball and pepper cream snacks. So it's a traditional small meatball, becomes a festive snack or appetizer when served on, can't pronounce that either, rounds with a pepper cream sauce. So maybe my group members and I are thinking, let's try this. So what we're going to do is find the ingredients, go away. Um, find the ingredients. We have whole grain bread. Ooh, whole grain, not enriched. Beef or pork, onion, garlic, egg, parsley, oregano, uh, breadcrumbs, paprika, salt, pepper, olive, etc., etc. So here's all the ingredients. So um, do you guys recognize some nutrients that we've talked about that are in these ingredients? I see by looking at here, I see a protein. I see a couple proteins, actually. I see a carbohydrate. I see um, a dairy. So what we want to do when we are researching our recipes is find recipes that have nutritional benefits. So if, for example, I cho we chose this recipe, I'm going to take the title and I'm going to take... Uh, the title of this, now you guys are going to be writing this out. You're not going to be typing this out. And I'm going to be putting it right up here. Oops, that didn't work out. So essentially, I am going to be writing it, maybe in nice handwriting. Choose somebody from your group that has good penmanship. And you're going to write the title of your recipe right here, what it's actually called. Um, then you'll be copying down the ingredients. So make sure that this is very nice and neat because this page right here is going to be hung up in the cafeteria on Friday. So parents and other group members can be looking at the different recipes, okay? This is a, this is a summative grade, so we want it to be very uh, presentable and look good. Um, you'll copy the ingredients here and the directions for the recipes here. All recipes have ingredients and the directions. And I know that this is gonna be time consuming to write all this stuff out, but that's part of the assignment. So you have today and Wednesday to be working on this. Um, so time is critical. Um, 
over here, I left this blank because I thought maybe you could draw a picture of the German flag or draw um, something that might represent your country. Meanwhile, while the person with good penmanship is filling this out, the others are looking up the ingredients and figuring out which ingredient from that recipe fills in under here. So in this recipe, the protein that I saw right away was the beef, pork, and the eggs. Um, carbohydrate was going to be those breadcrumbs and the whole wheat or whole grain bread. Figure out what vitamins and minerals are. A lot of these have vitamins and minerals. So what vitamins or minerals does parsley have? Garlic. Um, Paprika is a seasoning, but perhaps they have benefits. Um, sour cream. That's going to be a dairy. So where would that fill in? So what you want to do is write down the ingredient. So the, um, what was it, pork and eggs. And then down here, health benefits. What benefits do pork and eggs give? And then you will write those benefits down here. Okay, sixth graders, this portion right here is really, really what I'm going to be giving you a grade for. And this is a shared grade. So all of you together need to be working. So what I would suggest is maybe um, one person is working on figuring out proteins and fats. One person's working on fiber and carbohydrates. If you have a large group, another one can be vitamins and minerals, while the other one is artistically decorating and writing down the recipe onto here. So you all have iPads. I would not spend any more than seven minutes finding a recipe. Okay, no more than seven minutes. We got to have a time constraint on this. Okay, so Monday and Wednesday in class, you are working on this assignment. Also, nobody is going to take this home because you work in groups and I don't want the chance of you guys working on this and somebody um, not being here on Wednesday and they're the only one that has the page. So keep this here at school. Um, give it to my guest teacher and they can keep it for us. And that's what we have for today. Thank you guys. Looking forward to Friday.